What is up guys, we have Yugi Jib here, back with another video. And today I'm going to be doing my wind up deck profile for the September 1st format. This is my answering the ban list series, episode 2, yeah. Um, YCS Toronto is on at the moment, and of course, as we all know, windups are pretty well represented. As well as a lot of other decks that people previously weren't really able to run, because windups were so amazing. Let's face it. In any case, windups, you know, as long, alongside Insectors, Chaos Dragons, and Dino Rabbit. Dino Rabbit, which are still competitive, of course, and I've already done a deck profile about that. People disagree with my Hydrogeddons and whatnot, but uh, to those people I say, you know, be creative. <laughs> do something original and then people might pay more attention to you on YouTube. So that's basically what I was trying to do there. In any case, uh, this is going to be my wind-up deck profile, so let's get straight into it. So we start things off with two effect failures. Um, these are basically staples in any deck, I feel. Because even though the format was hit, you know, a lot of the big decks were hit quite badly, uh, effect failure is still very much a staple in decks, because, you know, ignition effects and trigger effects are still very, very important in the game. Uh, we have three wind-up rabbits. Why three wind-up rabbits? Well, because I was thinking of main, main decking two Trantle Tributes, I ended up main decking one. But three Winder Rabbits is still just amazing. Because you can just bait out things with this guy. Your opponents, if they want to get rid of him, they don't know whether you're going to let him die or not. Or just overlay him with him in the next turn or whatever. So they're like, I don't know, should I react? Should I react? Who knows? And it kind of screws with their head a little bit. <laughs> so, next we have, of course, the three Sharks and the three Magicians. A lot of people are dropping Shark and Magician to 2 in order to fit in Thunder King Ryo and Blackluster Soldier, but to them, I say, I understand your need to put an anti stuff, but at the same time, I really don't feel Thunder King is that necessary, plus I run, I run um, Factory, and for that reason I want to be able to search out stuff. So, there's your main engine, I'm going to be going through a loop with them in a couple of minutes. Uh, we have three Wind of Rats, of course they're amazing, they're like, you top deck into them and you can just reborn stuff basically. Provided they don't run effect better, and if they drop effect better on you, your opponent, you're screwed. Um, so yeah. Next we have two tour guides, a tour bus and a sangin. Um, obviously tour bus is still very much alive in windups, and you can use them to put a carrier back in the extra deck or whatever you need, really. Uh, finally, for the one-off cards, we have one wind-up hunter and one wind-up soldier. Wind-up soldier, if you don't get magician shark, if you get soldier and shark. You can still go into a rank 5 XYZ, which can protect you for a turn or two. So it's still not too bad at all. Um, as for these spells and traps, traps first, uh, Mirror Force and uh, Tarantula. Um, I was going, as I said, I was going to put in two Tarantula tributes, but I decided against it because I wanted to test out Mirror Force. Um, it was basically my local meta that I wanted to test out against, not so much the meta that I would see online and stuff. Uh, two Solemn Warnings, two Bottomless Trap Holes, and Solemn Judgment. Um, a small enough trap lineup, but still pretty effective against the meta. Um, as for the spells, we have two MSTs, Pot of Hours. Um, not nearly as good now, of course, because you're not going for the loop as much. But it's still really handy, and you can get five monsters in the grave very easily in this deck. So, one Mind Control, Monster Reborn and Heavy Storm, and of course Dark Hole. All staples. Now, the two wind-up factories. People don't really run factories anymore in all the builds I've seen in September 1st list because they're taking them out to put in Thunder Kings. But I still think factory is an amazing card, especially since I'm running three, three, <laughs> three, <laughs> three wind-up rabbits. Uh, two Forbidden Lances because the most my deck can go into is a 2600 attack monster and I want to be able to get over stuff that is 2800 or more. Uh, as you do see quite often since people are now running BLS in every deck apparently. <laughs> Finally we have two Soul Takers, same reason. I want to be able to destroy stuff manually. Life points mean nothing to me since I can probably OTK my opponent the next turn anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm not going to go over the extra deck, instead I'm going to cut the feed and go into the second segment of this video which is going to talk about the various loops that the deck has. So look forward to that guys, it involves <laughs> this guy uh, amongst other things. Anyway guys, anyway, guys uh, stay tuned for that, I'll be back very very soon. Okay guys, and we are back, and we are going to do some loops for you guys. Although they are not hand loops, as I have said, they are still very, very effective loops. So, what you're going to need is a Wind of Magician and a Wind of Shark in your opening hand. Um, most people may not be able to visualize it from here, but this can actually turn into four, or even five monsters. There are two loops I'm going to go through with you guys, so let's get into the first one, shall we? So the first thing you're going to do is normal summon Wind of Magician, reveal Shark in your hand, and special summon Shark. 
it's treated as an effect, so then you can use Magician's Effect to special summon another Winded Magician from your deck. Um, then you activate the effect of Shark, reducing its level to 3. Activate the effect of your second Magician, and you're going to special summon a Winded Rat in defense mode. Then you're going to overlay your two Magicians into Photon Papal Operative. You're going to detach, switch the Rat to attack mode, switch it back to defense mode, and special, special summon your Magician. Then you're going to overlay your Rat and your Shark for Winded Carriers in Mighty. This is where the loop splits off into two. There are two possible rows you can go down here, depending on whether you detach the, the shark or the rat. So first of all, we're going to detach the rat. The effect of carrier and magician activate, so you can activate them in whatever order you wish. So you can get two special summons. For my purposes, we're going to go with a shark and another magician. Okay. Remember that this magician's effect is already activated. So, what we're going to do is we're going to overlay the shark with the magician's effect that's already been activated. And we are going to go into a wind-up Zen Meister. Sorry guys, putting it upside down here. Okay, and we're going to detach our shark uh, to flip the carrier back into face down defense. The effect of this magician now activates, which allows us to special summon a wind-up rat in attack mode. Or, not wind-up rat rather, wind-up shark. The third shark from your deck. I'm getting confused. Okay, then you're going to overlay these two guys. I don't have a second Photon Papal Operative, but that's what you're going to use. So you go into a second Papal Operative, you detach your shark again, and then you flip the carrier back up, you detach, and then you special summon any other monster you want, probably Wind Up Rabbit, so it's the most attack points. And if your opponent has a monster on their side of the field, you can go into Wind Up Kitten, Unfortunately, I don't own a wind-up kitten, so I wasn't able to put it in this video. But that is the first loop. So, now let's take a look at the second loop. It won't take me too long to set up at all. So, it starts the exact same way. You still go Magician, Shark, Effect of Magician. Special summon a second Magician. Effect of Shark, reduced to 3. Effect of that Magician. And then you bring out the Rat. You still go into your favourite guy in the whole world, Photon Papal Operative. And you still detach, um, and then you switch the rat, switch it back, special summon that magician. So it, it all pretty much starts that way. And you always go into your, your wind up carriers and mighty, like so. Except this time you're going to detach the wind up rat instead. Uh, I think ultimately it doesn't make that much of a difference, but that's how I differentiate it, kind of whichever one I detach. So you get two special summons, and this time you're going to do things a little bit differently. You're going to be a little bit more offensive, so you're going to go for a wind-up rat in attack mode, and again, a wind-up shark in defense mode. Okay? And now you're going to overlay your magician and your shark into a utopia. This all depends on what your opponent has on their side of the field, so it may not actually work out in your favor. Then you're going to activate the effect of rat, switch it to defense mode, special summon another rat, and overlay into a, again, you could go into his mains if you want to defend, or you could go into a Leviathan Dragon if you're feeling more ambitious. So those are the two loops. Um, ultimately, they both add up to over 8,000 damage. So if your opponent, if you're managed to clear up your opponent's back row, uh, it's pretty much GG, and you pretty much win. And the only difference is sometimes you're actually left with a shark. You have a shark and a magician left over in the deck uh, if it doesn't work out, as well as a rat and two rats. This is for the second loop. Actually, you should have all three of your rabbits, now that I think about it. Um, whereas for the first loop, you do take a rabbit out of the deck, and I think you, you do end up going through three sharks. So, that's just something to consider. So those are the two loops, and they're really, really effective, really, really consistent. And of course, Effect Vader really, really hurts the deck. But if you can manage to get around it, and or you're just lucky, and they don't have an Effect Vader, you need to know when to push. But if you push at the right time, then you can very much, you know, you can win a lot, basically. So anyway guys, that is it for the video. Be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe as always. Let me know what you think of these loops, and if there's any other kind of loop that I'm missing with windups, please let me know. What I love about windups is basically that they have options. They don't just have a single play that they're relying on. If, for example, you go Magician Shark, and they Vader the Magician on the very first uh, play, then you can just overlay into a nice rank 4, like a Maestro, or something like that. So it's really not the end of the world. And since they can't Vader the Shark, you're always going to get a magician and a shark on the field. 
Um, so with that in mind, I'm going to leave it there. As I said, comment, rate, subscribe, as always. Be sure to let me know if there's any other tips, any other wind-up stuff that I haven't mentioned. Uh, I am Weeby YugiTuber, and I am signing out, guys. Peace.